Hello everyone. So if you start using Linux, especially Arch Linux with uh, no display manager, I mean, there is a display manager, which is DWM. You have to basically configure each and everything. And in a way, it's a, it's a good thing because you will learn a lot about how Linux works, how computers work, and you can actually customize a lot of these aspects. And one such aspect is uh, basically connecting to a different monitor. And these days, it is not just the monitor that you connect using VGA or HDMI. You basically have these docs, especially USB-C based docs. Now, I basically use this script, which is uh, which is basically a script to detect if the laptop is uh, connected to a dock. If it is, and if there is a monitor, then uh, use that monitor use th that monitor and also at the same time uh, i run the script uh, every minute so if the dock is not there then it will uh, basically make sure the the windows on the or basically the display is disconnected and of course i use xrendo command now let me talk about a couple of things on my i, I always had this uh, script or basically this script only had uh, this portion where I was, because I was using XP20 and uh, XP20 with a dock, and it was actually very simple because in this particular file, if the value is uh, zero or one, you can actually run some commands, basically X render command. Now, I don't really use XP20. I mean, of course I use it. It's somewhere here on top, but uh, it is always on dock and I don't really uh, lift it from the dock. Even if I do, I can just, you know, manually run this command. The thing is that because I'm using the same script, which I run every minute, and I have the same script on all of my computers, now I use ThinkPad uh, T14, where this script will not work because there is no such file called talked. Or basically there is no folder like talked or two. So I have to basically rely on XRender only to figure out whether there is a display connected. Now I've basically written these commands where depending upon the number of displays that uh, may or may not be connected i basically want uh, the because i prefer my big monitor on the left hand side and sometimes i connect two monitors sometimes i connect uh, just one usually it is one which is like upstairs where i am where i am right now or sometimes if i work from my living room i also use uh, uh, not a thinkpad usb dock but basically a simple usb hub usb c based hub so basically the way it works for me, I basically run all these commands. Um, I mean, I, I, I could actually do it a bit more nicely, but usually only one of these commands will work because uh, if let us say, D, if let us say monitor one and monitor two, monitor two they are there, um, it will work. If not, it will not work. So it's very simple. And, uh, and sometimes like in one of my display, there is actually it's it's a 4k display so i have to and because i make videos in uh, full hd basically 1920 and 1920 by 1080 i also specify the uh, mode basically the resolution so basically this is what i do it is not the best way i guess or maybe it is the best way but the thing is that i run all these commands and based on uh, the available monitor the right monitor will get turned on or turned off and it works and i guess if it works then uh, then it works right we don't really care too much about it and uh, it is just the dis just a display i mean there is nothing breaking here uh, of course uh, if the monitor is not there or if i run the command basically it's nothing but a script called docked dot sh it's in my path and at the same time i just run it uh, i i run it from my xnet rc in a while loop and uh, and I thought I'll probably share it with you because you may have to deal with a similar situation where uh, you may have multiple monitors or maybe you like go to office where you connect your, your your multiple monitor setup and it may be through a dock or it may be through just USB-C hub. In, in in most cases, you can just, you know, list your monitors like this in your variables and just, uh, you know, turn it, or, or turn it on or turn it off. So as you can see, I have like sometimes I have like a lot of monitors and uh, I just need to be 
careful of uh, how I position them and doing it manually is a pain and if you basically just run a command in series or basically one by one the right monitor based on the availability will get turned on and sometimes I have to if I have like three monitors or maybe or let, let us say three because yes you can I am basically doing something like this my monitor 2 will be on, on left or right of monitor 3 something like that so you, you can basically position it and I thought I'll probably share all right that is it for today I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye